sun is setting and we are riding and it's December. Life is good. I'm actually really excited for this video tonight. I honestly like preface, I have no idea what this video is gonna look like because I don't know how well the GoPros are gonna be able to handle it at night. But we are on our way to National Trail Raceway to go look at Christmas lights. But yeah, look, we got the Dyna back. This is my very first time riding her since she came back from the shop and man, this feels like a whole new motorcycle, you guys. Whole new motorcycle. I cannot begin to tell you the amount of direct messages, comments, all of you guys that were diagnosing the bike based on your own experience, which like, by all means, I value your opinion, your professional opinion, so thank you. But from what I can tell, it was exactly the compensator. We upgraded the compensator and she freaking runs great now. Starts like a champ. That's all I wanted. So we did get her 25,000 mile service done and I honestly have no, I mean like they told me what they did. Like my mechanic personally called me and walked me through everything he was doing and how it was gonna feel after he did the new things and it was fantastic. So once again, huge, huge shout out to Pharaoh Harley Davidson for always taking care of me and my problem child. Yeah, man, she just feels like new. And then obviously if you saw this video right here, you will know that Jordan and I, my husband, uh, his channel, link down in the description as always. We installed some new burly suspension on the rear. I got some new rear shocks and some new Leather Pro saddlebags. So this is my very first time actually really riding on my new things. And whoa, I honestly don't know what I expected with upgraded suspension. I truly didn't know what I expected. I honestly was probably thinking like, I'm not going to be able to tell the difference. Yo, I can tell a huge difference in these shocks. And the number one thing I dislike about them is they are shorter than what my previous shocks were. So my whole like, my whole seating position is way different from what I'm used to. Uh, even shifting is a bit of a problem because my my legs are cocked up a little bit higher than I'm used to, but so we're just gonna ride around on these bad boys, see, see if it actually feels better. But dude, the upgraded suspension, <laughs> game changer. I should have done that sooner. But dude, Ohio was so gracious enough to give us a 55 degree day today. Unfortunately, I spent most of the day working, so I didn't actually get to get out and ride and enjoy much of it, but can't complain too much. We're enjoying it right now. Even though it was 55 degrees today, your girl still got the heated gear on. I'm still wearing the hot wire gloves and jacket. And man, oh man, do I have a love-hate relationship with this gear. I love it because it truly, truly helps extend the riding, the riding, just in general. I can ride anywhere I want to, in any temperature I want to, and feel comfortable, like comfortable enough to not have it be dangerous, you know, when your hands get cold and you lose that dexterity, that is true danger. I've, I've experienced it. So these gloves are a men's size small and they are still enormous on me. It is very frustrating when I can't, you know, control things on my face or I, can, I don't have good dexterity when I control my controls. And oh, I just, it's so, so, so hard to find women's gear that works, that is not hideous, and that fits properly. It's like the holy grail of motorcycle stuff. But yeah, so we got the gear on because as soon as that sun goes down, woo, woo he's going to be nippy. Nip, nip, nip. Uh, honestly, I can't wait for the sun to go down because I can't see Jack right now. I'm totally, totally blinded by sun glare. Like, honest to God, there is a, a minivan right there on my left-hand side that just drove through the stop sign. I genuinely didn't see it as I was coming up to the stop. Luckily for me, I obey the laws and four-way stop is a four-way stop. So I stopped and that's when they pulled out. Enough jibber jabber. I gotta focus on the road because I can't see shit. So let's hurry up and get to National Trails and check out some pretty lights. Here we are. Woo woo. Bikes to the front. <laughs> How you doing? We're going to leave it then. We're going to stay just somewhere by the ticket booth and I'm going to adjust my camera. All right. Good to see you. Guys. Yeah, man. Good to see you too. It's been a minute. I've never done this 
before. But any excuse to get out on a motorcycle and do some events, oh, I'll take it. This is fun. I'm already having a good time. Probably because it's not minus 30 right now. Mm -hmm. Right. Now we wait. Well, the sun's starting to go down. Lights are officially on. We are just waiting for the go ahead. Starting this little journey off right listening to Frozen. You'll never see me cry. Look at all the lights. lead but <laughs> I'm officially the first person riding through here. <laughs> this is so cool. What? Oh my god you guys I'm getting emotional. What the hell? <laughs> Toy soldiers!
stockings. Oh, this is the most festive I have felt all December. Man, you guys, that was actually so cool. I'm not gonna drag this on because the GoPros can't see anything at night, but thank you for watching this video. I actually had a really good time and I legitimately like teared up there for a hot second. So we are gonna go home, grab some dinner. I'm gonna have a drink. And until the next video, you guys be good. Happy holidays. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. back the line is backed up oh my gosh oh my gosh it's a week night holy moly I cannot believe that that is insane yeah we weren't lane splitting we weren't even in the lane yeah there we, I didn't see a lane. Ah! And that ladies and gentlemen, is how you avoid crazy, crazy traffic jams. I cannot believe the amount of traffic that that little event has backed up. Woo! All right, enough talk. Let's go home and have a beer.